What's up guys, Digital here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to find an end portal on Minecraft. I see this across tons of forums all the time, people asking how to find the end portal, kill the ender dragon, etc. This video is for you guys, if you're looking to get an achievement, trophy, or just plainly looking just to do it purely for fun, then this is definitely the video for you. Um, I'm playing it on the Xbox One version. It does, however, work on the PlayStation 4 version, the PlayStation 3, the Xbox 360, the PC, all of those versions it does work. Not too sure if it works on handheld devices such as PS Vita and things like that, you'll have to give that a go, but let me know if it does at least and I can update my information. Uh, so we're going to start off, we do need to head into the nether, so we're going to create a nether portal. Creating a nether portal, for those of you who don't already know, is really simple. You just get buckets of water and you pour them over lava source blocks. Now, lava can be found anywhere in the world, pretty much can be underground, above ground like this pool, it can be anywhere. Just make sure you pour water on the source blocks and you will get obsidian. Then just use a diamond pickaxe and go on collecting the obsidian. You need around, I think it's 14 pieces to make another portal. So when you've got enough, just obviously stop digging and then we'll build another portal and head into the nether. So to build the nether portal itself is also really easy. First of all, you build four blocks across in a line. Then go on the end and place an extra four blocks on top. That will make the end portal five high. Again, do exactly the same thing on the other side. So add an additional four blocks on and then fill the top in and that should make it five blocks high and four blocks across. Just to double check, you should have three block gap in between on the height and a two block gap on the width inside. That is a perfect setup for the end portal. If you don't have enough obsidian, you can leave the corners out if you like. Uh, that's if you really are struggling to get obsidian but then just use a flint and steel it'll go purple like that and then just jump in and that will teleport you to the nether right so this is where we are going to be collecting materials and resources for the actual eyes of ender which we're going to need to find the end portal firstly you need to find one of these nether fortresses which are easily distinguishable by the nether brick you just saw me mine up and place down these are huge structures, you can find them in almost any nether. If you are really struggling, you can reset your nether, but they are really easy to find. And then you need to hunt down these floaty guys over here, which are called blaze. Now, a blaze can be a bit tricky to fight. I'd recommend wearing some level of armor. As you saw, he did set me on fire, but we're after these blaze rods. They don't 100% drop them. However, if you just stand like by a spawn, like I'm doing here, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to get them really quickly. It took me about five minutes to get all the ones I needed. It was very easy. I mean, I must have got quite lucky with them dropping and everything, but essentially just stand there and just keep killing them and picking up all the blaze rods. I collected 12, however, you only realistic, realistically need around six. Now, here's the trickier part of it. We need to find Endermen. Endermen don't really have an exact spawn. They can spawn in the day, in the night, anywhere they want, pretty much, and they can just be pains. But we need to kill 12 of them because we need 12 eyes of ender. That one teleported away as I hit him so obviously I've had to walk across to collect his thing and managed to figure out where he was. But that's what he'll be dropping on the floor there, that ender pearl. Ender pearls are just, they can be quite rare to get so maybe save before you do actually attack the enderman. That might make it a little easier for yourself but we need 12 of them this is going to be time consuming for you unfortunately there's no way around this you have to farm them you can set up traps and things online but they're not really that much easier if i'm honest by the time you've set it all up but once you have got your 12 end pearls all you need to do is head over to the crafting table with your blaze rods and we're going to create the eyes of vendor which are going to show us exactly where the end portal is so head on to the crafting tab, go to the third tab. If you're planning on the PC, all you need to do is put the rods in and create blaze powder. Again, you, I only needed six really for this because it makes two blaze powder for every right, rod. However, you may want to make more than enough because you can use in other things. When you have made that, head to the second tab, head to the far right hand side and create the eye of ender. Make as many of these as you can. However, beware that when we are using these, they will disappear. So you may want to save before you continue any further. So you can find out where your portal is and then obviously just travel back there on your save. To use the eyes of Ender is really simple. Just throw them in the air like I'm doing now and they will start to head towards the direction that the end portal is in. Now this direction could be really far away and the eyes of Ender don't always drop to the floor. They sometimes disappear. 
You know when you've arrived at your destination because the eyes will stop going any further. They will literally just keep going to the same square and then fall in or destroy themselves like they are doing on the screen there. Then all you need to do is grab a shovel, grab a pickaxe and start digging around because you're in the right area for your end portal. So hopefully you have found that video informative guys. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. It is a surefire way to find your end portal, get yourself that achievement and obviously just find that dragon and kick his ass. So if you have enjoyed the video guys, if so please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you all next time. Cheers.